So here's a tour of my house. First of all, I am absolutely in love with this door. It is so cute. Um, there's so much space in the living room, but I don't love how there's not like a light fixture right here. I love that I can make this area like a little dining area. What I'm also thinking is I want to put the washer and dryer in here for tenants. Um, they have a washer and dryer like back out in the garage, but um, I'm going to sell it on Marketplace and get another pair. And then here is the kitchen. Super cute. I just, I'm absolutely in love with how cute this house is. And I love all the cabinets. I'm also selling this refrigerator and I'm going to get a new one on Marketplace. And then here, I'm gonna live in this unit or this room. And then here are the cabinets. I'm definitely gonna, um, you know, change the cabinets. I'm gonna change these mirrors. I want like, you know, the mirrors with like the lights around, the, like the vanity mirrors. I wanna get that. But there is a lot of light coming in here. Here's the closet. What I really need to start thinking about is like where I'm gonna put all my clothes. I have a lot. I also wanna drywall this. This is like first mail, like a mail slip. And here are the tenants' rooms, really good space here. They also have a closet, and they're gonna share this bathroom back here, which is not gonna be bad because it's only gonna be two tenants um, sharing one bathroom, so. And here is the shower. Um, I'm also going to change the doorknobs because the doorknobs don't match. See, you see how this one is different? Um, but yeah, here is the other bedroom. And this is actually glue right here. I wanna change out the windows, but yeah, that is my cute little house. I love it so much. I have so many plans. I also wanna like paint the walls a different color. Um, yeah, I am so excited. Here's the washer and dryer I'm gonna sew. So it's a pretty big garage. It's a two-door car, or sorry, two-car garage. So I'm converting this one into an ADU. So I lined up some people to come here and give me quotes of how much it'll be. So this is super cute. My realtor got me all of this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what she got me. Rose. And then, oh, this is so cute some plates, um, room mist. Ooh, I wanna smell this. It smells really clean. Really, really clean. Okay, and then she got me some towels. Um, Oh my gosh, I love this. A little green blanket. Um, this smells so good, you guys. Like, it's bubbly champagne. Um, champagne toast by White Barn. It smells amazing. It's gonna smell so good when I light this up. And then she got me some gummy worms. 
Oh my god, my realtor is the best realtor, you guys. I am going to tell you guys more about it, but she's absolutely amazing. She wrote me something, too. <laughs> she said, Raina, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. You did it. It's been such a pleasure working with you and becoming friends. I enjoyed our travels and conversations. This is the first of many, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish. <laughs> Isn't she so sweet? And then she got, what is this? I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, kitchen cutlery. Ooh. Let's see. Um, let me see. Okay. Uh, oh, look at this knife, you guys. Okay, well, I'm not going to open it yet, but this is a knife. Oh, my God. The handle looks really nice. I really like that. Um, okay, and then they just got me this. Oh, so cute. This is the realty group that I worked with. So I'm going to leave their details in the description. But basically, like, and the reason why she gave me a, a green blanket, there's a story behind it. So basically, obviously, this house is green and I like my parents' house that they got, their first house that they ever built. They, um, was green and they actually like foreclosed on it unfortunately but it was such an amazing magical house like i have so many memories there and then my grandparents house um also was green so i just felt like seeing this green house when i immediately saw it i was like this is the house for me because it was so nostalgic and brought back so many memories that i just knew this was my home <laughs> also you guys like I'm gonna give you a whole tour about this apartment. I, When I tell you I beat this apartment up, I'm trying to get most of my security deposit back. The tour after the movers, like get everything out, I'm gonna show you a tour of like the apartment and like how I beat it up, but also how the apartment looks. Cause I know that I didn't get to do a proper tour on YouTube. Cause I, it, last year was so busy and I really wasn't creating the content that I should have, but I'm back on it. And I'm going to give you a whole tour of the apartment. I'll also tell you what apartment this is if you guys live in San Diego and you're interested. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and pack Nico and Amelia's stuff. <laughs> go ahead and bring it to the car. Okay, so I'm going to give a tour of my apartment since I never, like, gave a proper one. Um, you guys could see I really fucked this apartment up. But these are adhesive wall hooks. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I don't know how much they're gonna take for my security deposit, but probably not much. Then I put like my cleaning products here. And here I had a washer and dryer. And then I also messed this wall up, but they have like a Google Next for temperature. I really love the cabinets. The fridge is also really big. Let me show you guys. The fridge is huge. Freezer, lots of cabinets. That's what I loved most about this apartment was you get a lot of storage. Make sure nothing's in here. Okay. Um, that's my couch. I'm selling these on Marketplace, so I'm going to keep them here. But here's the living room. The view was so beautiful. It's a really beautiful view. <laughs> Super beautiful. This is litter. Ignore that. Mounted my wall here. I mean, what, what am I saying? I mounted my TV here. Oh my God, guys, I'm so exhausted. My bedroom was here, and then I have another balcony. And then, so the lights turn on automatically. I love the lights around the mirror. Again, lots of like storage, lots of space. The shower was beautiful. Here's the toilet. Um, I love the shower. And then here is or here is my closet. Uh, yeah. 
So that is what this apartment looked like. It was really, really beautiful. I did enjoy living here, but I just thought it would just be smarter to use the money that I pay in rent to like save money to be able to buy properties and things like that. So yeah, that is the little apartment tour. I'm selling these items on Marketplace. This one for super cheap because I have a bleach stain on it. And then that one, I am waiting for somebody to come pick that up. And it's kind of annoying because I live 40 minutes away. Like my house is 40 minutes away. So it's a whole thing. But I'm going to bring this in the car. And then after that, I need to go by the store. I just went to the store and I got some things from Crate and Barrel. Just like some decor items for my bookshelf, like really simple things. I'll show you guys what I got. Cause I'm trying to design the bookshelf, like, like items like this. I love how neutral this is. Like the vibe I'm going for in my house is like, I want things that are neutral, but, um, like I want like a nude palette. And here's like a candle that I got. I'll show you the candle holder. I got some more things on Amazon that I'm waiting to get delivered um, for like the decor. But yeah, so here's the holder. So it's just gonna go in here. So let's just put this like somewhere up here. <laughs> it's so funny because like I've been running around with like some workout stuff and people have been like, Oh my gosh, do you work out? And I'm just like, no, I've just been moving and I've been like, I haven't unpacked like my wardrobe and stuff. So it's just been like, I've been putting on random things. <laughs> so yeah, this is super cute. I'm glad that it looks fine. But it's gonna look better when I get like more if you guys can kind of see, like, you can kind of see the vibe I'm going for. I want, like, like how they do when they're staging homes, like, with the um, decor on the bookshelves. Um, I finally went to Cox to get, like, my modem. So, here it is. Um, I actually need to go back up there because I took my router and my modem and moved it here, and they were like, Oh, you know, you're not supposed to do that. So I'm going to go there and like bring it back or whatever. Let me show you guys. All right. So let's go ahead and set this up. Ah! I got I have stuff everywhere. Oh, I like that this is going to fit my new aesthetic too. So the Wi-Fi is in one of the bedrooms instead of the living room. So that's fine. I'm just gonna have to tell the tenant when they like move in here that they should just be aware it's in. Hi, my love. <laughs> so now I just like took a shower and changed. So I'm just going to like put some things in my dresser.
They look pretty easy to put together. I took one apart and here's the camera. Um, what I got three because I'm, I want to do one in the front of the door, the back, and then the garage. So it's looking like I have to drill it in because it's going to like, so it's going to come like here and then I have to drill in the back. Uh, it is battery operated, so I'm going to charge all of them first. Yeah, it comes with like a manual. I'm just going to charge all of them first, and then I'm going to like, I need to get, because it, it comes with the screw. So honestly, I'm wondering if I could just use my step tool, because I was thinking, do I need to get a ladder? But I think I can just use my step stools for it. So yeah, this is what the next thing I got, I got two laundry hampers. These are for my tenants. So let's go ahead and put them in their closet. I'm so excited because their um, bed frames are coming in. I'm saying there like my tenants are here already, but I don't know who my tenants are going to be yet. But um, I'm just getting everything set up for them. I can't wait to like get their rooms to be super cute. It's gonna be so great. Okay, so here's the laundry hamper that I got them. It has a roll, rollers or wheels. I like that a lot. Um, do you guys think this is kind of small? Well, I don't think it's that bad if it's small because wouldn't that like, I feel like that would like encourage them to hurry the fuck up and do their laundry, but I don't know. They don't have to use it if they don't want to, but I think it's a nice laundry hamper. Oh, okay. So on the inside, it has like a flap that you uh, take apart and then you're just gonna like stick this in the flap, okay. make it straight it's pretty easy I'm really now I'm over here wondering if this is too small I'm gonna show you guys on the ground so you can kind of like give your opinion on it but I'm hoping it's not too small so here's a laundry hamper so it's pretty thin um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of smaller than I thought it would be, honestly, but I don't know. Let me see how it looks. I mean, I like how thin it is because it fits here, but it is really, really small. I'm just going to keep these like for a few days. I'm going to just keep these for a little bit to see how I feel about them. Because if I really don't like it, I'm just going to return it on Amazon. It's really not that hard. But I'm just going to sit with it for a few days and see how I like it. Also, this right here on my face is an allergic reaction. Um, I went to the dermatologist and she ended up telling me that I'm having an allergic reaction to the environment in San Diego. So annoying. Like... She said it's because San Diego, uh, they grow things that a lot of cities don't grow. So I've been having a really bad reaction, like, like a rash around my, it comes like around my mouth or sometimes like under my eyes. So she's just been getting me to like take Allegra and to, um, to, it's like she prescribed me a steroid to use, um, like, I think she said a couple of times a week. So, since I've been moving, I've been slacking. Because honestly, like, when she first told me to do that, it was working. And I was doing it for, like, a week, and it went away. But then I, like, you know, got busy with my move and things like that. And I wasn't even thinking 
to take any allergy meds. So I haven't been taking it. Um, and it came back. The first night that I slept here, you guys, I had the worst allergies. I think it was from, I don't know if it's from the air vents in here or, which I need to get the air vents clean, but I don't know if it's from that or it's from like the dust that the moving truck accumulated. Either way, I could not fucking breathe. Like I was like <gasps> at night, it was so bad, it was so bad. And then last night, Amelia, my cat, she was literally wheezing. So I was just like, oh my God, like I need someone to come clean these vents, but I also need to, but the, the like I'm gonna clean my room too, but I was kind of hoping I would try to get everything in and then I would like hire a cleaner, like for someone to deep clean my place for me before I like got my tenants in and everything. But honestly, like, I need to go ahead and call someone to clean my vents and change my filter or something. Yesterday, I switched out one of my outlets um, because I really don't like the yellow tone that they have. So I got some new ones. And I was on the phone with my uncle and he helped me, like, figure out how to do it. So that is what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to switch these out. These are only three though. I, I'm waiting for the other ones to come in. So we're going to do that today. I also wanted to show you guys my new coat rack that I built. I didn't build it on like on the camera. I just built it on, I think I did it on TikTok, but, um, you could see, you could really see it here. It's really bad. Anyways. Here it is, super cute. Everything's gonna be listed in my description. But yeah, I love it. I think it's so cute. Yeah, the rash is really bad. I may have to put like a steroid on it tonight because me not doing my thing for a week or for a few days really is messing up my skin. I'm just going to set my outlets up. Then we're gonna do some unpacking. And then, yeah, I'm still looking for like a, um, what is that? Fridge. Oh my God, you guys. The fridge, I can already tell it's going to be a whole thing because the fridge is so big. Like the fridge is huge. And I'm like, first of all, I don't know how they got the fridge in here. And I also don't know how we're going to get the fridge out of here. That fridge is big. So I got to figure it out. Um, I'll show you guys in a second how it looks. I also ordered a microwave. My microwave is supposed to come in, I think, to tomorrow. So I can't wait for that to come in because I need a microwave. So yeah, I'm just going to charge these and then... I'm going to see if I could use my step stool to put them in, hopefully, because I really, really, really don't feel like buying a whole ladder, even though, like, I probably should buy a ladder anyways. Well, I don't think this is a...
I gotta get all of this out of here because it's my storage that I had in my apartment. I don't even know if I could fit this in my car, but I am going to try. So today I woke up with the worst rash around my eyes and my mouth. I was sneezing, coughing. It was so bad, you guys. Like I was even driving to get the rest of my storage um, in my apartment and I could barely keep my eyes open because how much like I was sneezing. Uh, it was so bad. So I took an Allegra and I'm gonna get somebody to come in here and clean the vents. Right now I'm just, I'm packing some glass that my movers packed for me.
My mattress came in uh, for my tenant. So I got them some Lull mattresses. I really love this one because um, this is the one I have and they deliver so fast. So I'm just gonna set this mattress up in their rooms. Okay, so I just got my microwave. Super excited to put it in. I'm gonna put it in this compartment. I think it's gonna fit well, cause I measured it, so I hope it fits. Okay, you guys, update. I just picked up my coffee table. Um, it was a long drive, you guys. It was like an hour and 30. But I saw it on Marketplace and I was like, I needed this. And then I also got my couch. I have the same pillows that I had in my other apartment. Um, and then you guys saw me set that up and my table. So now I'm just trying to like 
figure out oh by the way the these cushions they're just way too dark for like the vibe i'm going for so i'm getting um lighter ones from the same company if you live in san diego area i'll like put um the company that i worked with to like get this because they have a lot of like really cool mid-century pieces but right now i'm trying to figure out which way to put the glass on the coffee table because I'm trying to figure this out so yeah